Have you ever been in a creative drought, a creative funk, if you will? It's me. It's been me for a couple weeks, if not longer. <laughs> uh, and you know what? I'm sick of it. Absolutely sick of it. So let's take care of that today. The thing with creative droughts is you constantly create excuses for yourself on why you can't be creative or why you can't do this. For me, as of recently, it's because of outside not being good enough. And what I mean by that is this time of year, everything outside, especially in Kansas, looks the same color. It's like brown, gray, it just doesn't look, it just doesn't look photogenic, you know, it doesn't look cinematic or whatever. Uh, and I, I, that's been one of the key factors in my creative drought, if you will, is I keep telling myself, well, this just doesn't look good. It doesn't look good outside. Why, why go create stuff? So the main goal in today's video is to go outside and create something out of nothing. When in reality, you know, it's not actually nothing because it's, you know, we've got something around. It. You get the idea. I'm going to go outside in this, you know, not necessarily super photogenic scenery as of right now and, and take some photos, make a video, you know, create something. And you know, I'll probably snap a couple bangers or two. It's just, you know, the, once you get in your head and say, well, I, there's this, uh, you know, this doesn't really work if I do this right now and it could be better. And it, you just get in this habit of snowballing uh, all these excuses to where you're just sitting here doing nothing all day and convincing yourself that you're doing something. Well, today we are going to create and we're going to create something out of nothing. But anyways, that's enough talking. Before we lose any more sunlight, let's get out there and let's create.
So there you have it, guys. Um, I was out there getting a little creative and trying to do some edits that I typically wouldn't do. Uh, There's a lot of like color combos and um, oversaturated pictures that I did. Um, or I, I messed around with like a few black and whites as well. But it was just me stretching my creative muscles uh, when the colors aren't necessarily in their prime. But it was still fun. I enjoyed it a lot. Uh, like I said, I just throw my uh, earbuds in, throw some music on, go out shooting, and it's, it's the best thing in the world. This one specifically, I wouldn't typically make water that blue, but I thought it looked cool for that specific photo, uh, just the contrast between the water and the ground, um, I thought it turned out really well. So if you guys are in the same boat, kind of in that creative drought, if you will, um, I encourage you just to go out and just start shooting, even if there's really nothing around you that looks cool or you think would make an awesome Instagram post, just do it for the sake of doing it and you know these edits that i did i wouldn't typically you know boost colors like that and you know do black and whites whatever uh, but i enjoyed it and in the end i actually ended up with some photos that i'll probably end up posting but anyways i'm gonna keep editing i've still got the uh the urge to do that so i'm gonna use this energy while i've still got it but guys if you did enjoy the video go ahead and give it a like down below it helps me out a ton feel free to leave comments as well and also if you enjoy the overall content of the channel please subscribe that helps me out a ton uh, as well and like i said i will be uploading a little bit more regularly as well so you can just anticipate videos more often but with all that being said you guys enjoy the rest of your days nights mornings whatever whenever you're watching this video i shall see you in the next one peace